Howdy fellas, last week's video we talked about the Dixie Gunworks Tennessee Mountain Rifle and a little bit of problems that I was having with the flintlock on it which I'll continue to work on. But back in the day you could order these flint or percussion or you could order them with both locks and that way you could convert back and forth. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to convert it from flint to percussion. It's fairly simple. The first thing you're going to do is take the proper fitting screwdriver remove your lock bolt which is going to allow you to remove the lock lock drops right out then you're going to turn the gun over and there's your your vent liner right there you're going to take the screwdriver this is a real small slot and uh, sometimes it's hard to get it started just right and keep it in there while you turn it out <clears throat> all right now we have the drum clear now I did a dry fit of this off camera um, and I noticed something right away the drum <coughs> for the percussion lock the shank on it was too short which uh, it should have been like a breech plug it should have been a little bit longer it allowed you to file it and fit so what it was doing it was going too far because it was too short so what I did I took a drill and at the top of a vegetable can drilled a 5 16th hole in it and then took a pair of uh, 10 snips metal shears and cut two little shims on that thing and this is a little bit tricky to get started there it goes so what you're going to do is okay and right there the place for the uh, nipple is around on the back so what you want to do there is take a wrench and turn tighten that okay kind of eyeball it a little bit Gonna drop your percussion lock in there and it's one thing you'll notice and you may have to make some adjustments and do some things the uh, mainspring on a flint lock is a whole lot thicker than the one on a percussion lock so your lock bolt is probably gonna be a little bit too long so what you're gonna do is get that lock bolt started can't see that for my big mitt but I'm going to get that lock bolt started just enough to hold that lock and then I'm going to set my trigger and let it down okay I'm just a little bit off I'll tell you what let's do let's go ahead and screw this percussion nipple in there all right if you can see that on the camera you can see that that is just falling a little bit too far away. So what you want to do is take your wrench, and this is an adjustable metric wrench, by the way, in case you didn't notice. And you're going to tighten that just a little bit more. Okay. This is what I call timing it. It's not really what it is, but you could call it that. Okay, that should. Okay, there you go that uh, hammer falls down over the top of that nipple and allows it to fire the percussion cap. So it's a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, just order the part for it if you can find it, if you have one. If not, then, you know, they're hard to find now. But anyway, that's just a <clears throat> little tip on uh, how they would convert these guns back and forth. Appreciate you watching. God bless you. Keep your powder dry. Mind you top, not builder.